Good morning. It's Friday, May 1st. I'm Lauren Prisbal. And I'm Tim Ryan. We begin with three teenagers arrested after a carjacking and chase came to an end on the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge in Dallas. Fox 4's Saul Garza joins us with the latest, Saul. Yeah, the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge was closed for a while, but it has since reopened. Dallas police say that three teenagers uh, not only carjacked someone, but also led police on a high speed chase. The driver just 13 years old. Uh, police say the other teens involved are ages 15 and 17. So around three o'clock this morning, police say they carjacked someone at a pharmacy on Bruton and Buckner uh, by pulling a toy gun on the victim. Dallas police, uh, they were able to spot them, spot the vehicle, tried to pull them over, but lost them somehow. But Garland police uh, that were able to locate this car, chase them through Garland and Richardson, Carrollton. They got on the toll road, went south towards downtown into West Dallas. They turned around and then got back on the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge. And keep in mind, speeds reach more than 100 miles an hour. Uh, police were waiting on an opportunity to perform a pit maneuver to get the driver to stop. And they finally got their chance again on the the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge itself. The car spun, wrecked out in the middle of the bridge. Now, hours later, the owners of the car, they were escorted to the bridge and their wrecked vehicle to collect their belongings. They uh, didn't comment, but uh, no doubt, and as you can imagine, a terrifying experience for them. Uh, police, by the way, were told to recover two toy guns in that vehicle. Now, the three suspects were taken to a nearby hospital. They were complaining of uh, pain. Their conditions are unknown, but we understand they are expected to be okay. Right now, the charges uh, just depend. Uh, reporting live in Dallas, Saul Garza for yeah. a good day.